Alrighty folks, how are we doing? Doing a lovely start to the day. Most clear blue sunny skies. <coughs> now you'll probably hear, I'm full of cold again. Seems to be the, uh, the norm. Um, I think I've had near enough a cold strut all the way since um, December. I'll get rid of it, then it'll bloom and come back. Cheers, mate. But anyway, that's why I'm sounding a bit croaky. <coughs> uh, we're on the way to do a bit of V-forming anyway. Uh, we're running empty at the minute. Uh, I was on it yesterday, so I left uh, I left the cultivator there, and we're just uh, jingling over there to hook on and carry on. I'll see you there. Oh, let's get hooked on. perfectly square but I'm pretty sure we'll get it right. I draw it top link is good It's not quite fully locked. There you go. Alright, just set the uh, top link to about where it was on the number three. There you go. Sorted. Alright, just need to set this up for <coughs> the field now. Fire the old GPS up, it normally takes a minute. Right, we want full drive, we want diff lock, and then we want the auto switch. That basically, um, the full drive will stay in all the time, but the diff lock, that will come in and out with steering angle when it gets to, I think I've got it set at 30 degrees, so when you turn the steering 30 degrees the diff lock will cut out so it you know allows it to turn um, it's also set on the rear linkage so that when you lift up it also kicks out so that's why you have the auto in we want the GPS that automatically puts the quick steer in um, so there we are all right that's fired up precision IQ and it takes a minute <coughs> normally I'd do it you know, on the way into the field, but I thought I'd just uh, run you through it. You know, if you do it when you're running in, it's you know it's fired up, it's ready to go as soon as you, as soon as you are. But like I said, I thought I'd just quickly run you through the the setup. Well, it is already set up on there, but you know what I mean anyway. Right there we go. So we're going to the actual GPS screen. That's where you can change. Um, what vehicle it's on, what implement you've got, all that. It's going to set them to warnings, 
now we can go onto the run screen. This is the actual GPS screen now. Yeah, I know you'll auto steer it. Yeah, it's back to the front at the minute. Well, we still haven't got um, a green satellite at the minute. Oh, we just want low range as well. Put in the PS. <coughs> There you go, she's figured herself out now. And yeah, we're 15 centimetres off our line, so that's ideal. Give it some revs. There you go, we're cooking with gas now. Have a look. Lovely job. Well, we're getting on quite nicely. <coughs> All fast tracks purring along. We're doing about hmm, 25 to 28 litres an hour. Uh, forward speed is 4.6 miles an hour. We're about 1800 revs, so we're jingling. Jingling noisily. <coughs> yeah, cloud over a bit now, but still quite nice. Quite nice down here by the river. She barely knows, she's got it on the back, really. wondering the other day how people watch the videos on YouTube. Now what I mean by that is like when I go on to click onto YouTube you get your home page come up <coughs> and you've got all your subscribers down there and the latest videos and all that. But you also got the recommended section or the recently added section um, where YouTube suggests videos to watch based on what you've watched before. Now I tend to watch videos that's been suggested by YouTube, you know, on that recommended um, 
uh, on the recommended page. Now, <coughs> um, yeah, what I was wondering is, is do you know, do you, is that how you watch? Or do you go, you know, do you click on YouTube? Do you then go on to subscribers list and look for your your favourite, um, you know, your favourite channel <coughs> and see what they've uploaded um, recently? Or do you, um, like me, mainly go through the, the recommended section of the homepage? If that makes any sense. Um, because that way then you can go on, you know, I, f I find that's a good way of finding new channels and, you know, different stuff to watch rather than watching the same old things over and over again, you know, the same channels over and over again. <coughs> that also got me thinking, what was my favourite, you know, my favourite YouTube video of all time? I mean, that's a bit stiff there, that is, isn't it? Um, well, my favourite is actually not farming related at all. <coughs> it is uh, re um, what is it? I'm gonna have to look it up now for the exact title. saying um, yeah my favorite video is uh, it's um, monster energy ballistic BJ Baldwin hashtag recoil and uh, the main, you know the, the reason I really like that video it's got everything for me um, especially looking at it from sort of yeah, the editing and, and the film work that went into it, it's just um, phenomenal really. <coughs> Plus it features a 900 horsepower trophy truck, which is always good. You know, if I won the lottery, I might have one of them. But uh, go check that out, see what you think of that, let me know. And also let me know what your favourite uh, YouTube videos are. And don't say it's this one, because it's not this one is it we all know it's not this one so um, well, let me know what your thoughts are <coughs> oh there you go we're on the last run now <coughs> so I hope you enjoy that little vid and I'll see you on the next one ta-ta